This is a grade 11 pre-calculus lesson about conic section parabola. A parabola is a U-shaped plane curve where any point is at an equal distance from a fixed point known as the focus and from a fixed straight line which is known as the directrix. It is formed by the intersection of a plane and a cone when the plane is at the same slant as the side of the cone. So this is the illustration, this is the cone, and this is the plane, and we see here a U-shaped graph form. So this is an example of a parabola that opens to the right. So the focus is somewhere here, inside the opening of the graph and the directrix is the line on the other side, so this line. From our definition, if we pick a point on the parabola, for example the vertex, the distance from the vertex to the focus equals the distance from the vertex to the directrix. If we are going to pick another point, for example point A, the distance from point A to the focus is also equal to the distance from this point A to the directrix. This table shows the four standard equations and their respective vertices, axis of symmetry, foci, and directrix. The first form is y squared equals 4ax. So if it starts with y squared and the coefficient of x is positive, the u-shaped graph opens to the right. It's like this. And its vertex is 0, 0, which is here. The axis of symmetry is the x-axis. So meaning to say, if we are going to fold this graph along this straight line, this top portion here will coincide with this portion below the line. And our focus is somewhere here. The coordinates are A and 0, and our directrix is a line which has an equation x equals negative A, which is this line. And this is our latus rectum. So the length of this latus rectum is 4 times the absolute value of A. So A can be positive or negative. If our equation starts with y squared and the coefficient of x is negative, the graph opens to the left. That looks like this. Our vertex has coordinate 0, 0. It's here. Our axis of symmetry is the x-axis. Our focus is A0, so which is somewhere here. And because we have here a negative sign, so this A will be negative. Then our directrix has equation x equals negative A. Because our A here is negative, so it's going to be x equals A. So this line. Again, this is our latus rectum. Its length is 4 times the absolute value of A. If our equation starts with x squared and the coefficient of y is positive, the graph opens upward. That looks like this. Our vertex has coordinate 0, 0. It's here. Our axis of symmetry is the y-axis. Then our focus is somewhere here and our directrix is the line here. And again this is our latus rectum with length 4 times the absolute value of A. If our equation starts with x squared and the coefficient of y is negative, the graph opens downward, like this. And its vertex is 0, 0. It's here. 
then the axis of symmetry is the y-axis, then the focus is somewhere here, the directrix is somewhere here, this line, and again our latus rectum is this one, the length is 4 times the absolute value of A. Now let's do an example. Give the vertex, axis of symmetry, focus, and directrix. Our equation is y squared equals 8x. First, we are going to solve for A. To solve for A, we will make an equation that starts with 4A, then equals this number, which is the coefficient of x. So we have 4a equals 8. So dividing both sides by 4, a equals 2. Now since our equation starts with y squared and the coefficient of x is positive, our graph opens to the right. Its vertex is 0, 0. It's here. Its axis of symmetry is the x-axis, this line. Then the focus has coordinates A0, A is 2, and then 0, so we have 2, 0, which is this point. Then our directrix has an equation x equals negative A, A is 2, so it's x equals negative 2, which is this line. And of course, this is our latus rectum with length 8 units. So this number that is the coefficient of x is the length of our latus rectum. Example number 2. Our equation is x squared equals 2y. First, we are going to solve for a. Again, we will equate 4a equals this number, which is 2. So that's 4a equals 2, dividing both sides by 4, a equals 0 0.5. And because it starts with x squared, and the coefficient of y is positive, our graph opens upward. Our vertex has coordinates 0, 0, this point. Then the axis of symmetry is the y-axis, so this line. Then our focus has coordinate 0, a. a is 0 0.5, so that's 0 and 0 0.5, which is this point. And our directrix has equation y equals negative a. It's y equals negative 0 0.5, which is this line. Now, this is our latus rectum and its length is 2 units. Example number 3. Our equation is x squared equals negative 1 half y. First, we are going to solve for a, so that's again 4a equals this number, negative 1 half. Dividing both sides by 4, a equals negative 1 eighth because it starts with x squared and the coefficient of y is negative so our graph opens downward. Our vertex has coordinates 0, 0, this point. Then our axis of symmetry is the y-axis, so this line. Then our focus has coordinates 0, a, so a is negative 1, 8, so that's 0 and negative 1, 8, which is somewhere here. Then our directrix has equation y equals negative a, and a is negative 1, 8, so that means y equals positive 1 over 8, which is this line. And of course, our latus rectum is this one, and its length is equal to the absolute value of negative one-half, which is one-half. This table here shows the four standard equations with the respective vertices, axis of symmetry, foci, and directrix. So notice here that the vertex is not zero, zero anymore, but hk. So again, 
the length of latus rectum is always four times the absolute value of a. So let us do an example. Write in standard form and give the vertex, axis of symmetry, focus, and directrix. So our equation for example number 4 is x squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 6 equals 0. Now we have here quadratic term x squared and a linear term 4x, so that means we are going to retain x squared plus 4x on the left side and move the rest to the right side. So we have x squared plus 4x equals 2y minus 6. Now we are going to solve for a. So we will write an equation 4a equals this number that is the coefficient of y. So we have 4a equals 2. Dividing both sides by 4, a equals 0 0.5 or 1 half. To write this equation in standard form, we are going to complete the square on the left side. To complete the square, we are going to get 1 half of 4, which is 2, and square it. So 2 times 2 is 4. So we are going to add 4 on the left side. And because we added 4 on the left side, we are also going to add 4 on the right side. Now x squared plus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial, so it can be written as the quantity x plus 2 squared. And we can simplify the right side as 2y minus 2, because negative 6 plus 4 equals negative 2. And this right side here can be written as 2 times the quantity y minus 1. So this is our standard form. The quantity x plus 2 squared equals 2 times the quantity y minus 1. Because our standard form starts with the quantity x plus 2 squared and the coefficient of y is positive, so our graph opens upward. And our vertex has coordinates h and k, so it's negative 2, positive 1. So take note, this is x plus 2, so h is negative 2, this is y minus 1, k is positive 1. So this is the vertex here. And the axis of symmetry has equation x equals h, so our h is negative 2, so that's x equals negative 2, so this line. And our focus has coordinates h and k plus a, h is negative 2, and then k is 1, and a is 1 half, so that's 1 plus 1 half, so that's negative 2, and 3 over 2, which is this point. Then, our directrix has equation y equals k minus a. So, k again is 1, so it's y equals 1 minus 1 half. And 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, so our equation is y equals 1 half, which is this line. And this is our latus rectum with length 2 units, this number. Example number 5, our equation is y squared plus 4x plus 2y plus 9 equals 0. So we have here a quadratic term y squared and then linear term 2y. So this means we are going to retain these two terms on the left side and move the rest to the right side. So we have y squared plus 2y equals negative 4x minus 9. Now we are going to solve for a. We will make an equation for a equals this number here, the coefficient of x. So that's 4a equals negative 4. Dividing both sides by 4, a equals negative 1. Now we are going to complete the square on the left side. So to complete the square, we are going to find half of 2, which is 1, then square it, it is still 1. So we are going to add 1 on the left side. Because we added 1 on the left side, we are also going to add 1 on the right side. y squared plus 2y plus 1 is now a perfect square trinomial, so it can be written as the quantity y plus 1 squared. And the right side can be simplified as negative 4x minus 8. 
negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Then the right side can be written as negative 4 times the quantity x plus 2. So this is our standard equation. The quantity y plus 1 squared equals negative 4 times the quantity x plus 2. Now, because our equation starts with the quantity y plus 1 squared and the coefficient of x is negative, so our graph opens to the left like this. So our vertex has coordinates hk, so that's negative 2, negative 1. So notice here again, it's x plus 2, h is negative 2, it's y plus 1, k is negative 1. So this point. Then our axis of symmetry has the equation y equals k. Our k is negative 1, so that's y equals negative 1, this line. Then our focus has coordinates h plus a and k. So h is negative 2, a is negative 1, so that's negative 2 plus negative 1, and our k is negative 1 each year. So negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3, so our coordinates are negative 3 and negative 1, which is this point here. And the equation of our directrix is x equals h minus a. h is negative 2, a is negative 1, so it's negative 2 minus negative 1, and that's x equals negative 1, which is this line. Our latus rectum is this one. The length is the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Regil. Keep safe.